Mr. Bazzini. There have been some news articles re Tom Cruise moving to St. Hill in England. Most people consider it bunk. I do not, as he could be in some turmoil seeing his daughter Suri in the press growing up and this issue is coming up in auditing. When Miscavige hears of this, he could have decided to sit down with Tom and give him a grandiose title such as European Director of the Board so as to get Tom very focused on being much more of a leader rather than just a figurehead, getting him to work more on expanding Scientology and by default dragging him further down the rabbit hole. Would you consider this a possibility? I would consider the idea you're presenting uh, as a, you know, as a, as a possibility without going into the specifics of it. Tom Cruise is definitely not moving into St. Hill Manor in England. He's not taking a position with the church because um, he doesn't have to. You know, he's already got a position in the church. He's, he's this opinion leader within the church. What he says he gets and he, what he wants he gets, what he says people do. You know, people in the Sea Org and in Scientology call him Sir. I mean, it's just, it's ludicrous. Tom Cruise takes horrible advantage of his position uh, within that group. And David Miscavige, of course, puts him in a position where he can take advantage of that. David Miscavige is the one who orders people to listen to and follow Tom Cruise's directions and things like that. And, and demands that they give Tom Cruise respect and, and that sort of thing, even though he's done absolutely nothing to deserve any such thing. So, um, as far as, you know, as far as this idea, though, of Miscavige um, getting Tom into the fold, you know, and, and giving him, you know, listening to his ideas and, 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 and getting advice and direction from him and that sort of thing, I think Miscavige does that. I think, I don't know that he particularly gives Tom Cruise's advice any real, you know, in his, in Miscavige's own head, I don't think he, he particularly listens to Tom Cruise as though Tom Cruise is somebody who should be telling him what to do. Um, Miscavige is much too egotistical for that. But I think he does that in order to pump up Tom Cruise, right? And I think uh, that David Miscavige would have no problem doing that. Um, and Tom is obviously fallen just head over heels, full bore, dived all the way in the deep end of Scientology. He doesn't necessarily need to go further down the rabbit hole. He's about as far down as you can go. And I don't think he's ever coming out. I, I, I really believe that he's never going to see the error of his ways. Um, you know, I read an article the other day. He hasn't seen his daughter in like 900 days or something. I mean, that is insane. I, you know, and, and it's not because he can't. You know, nobody in Scientology is telling Tom Cruise that he can't see his daughter. Uh, he's doing that. And that's what I mean when, I, when I, I look at that, and that's what makes me evaluate that he's as far down the rabbit hole as you can get. And it's a pathetic, horrible, awful place to be. And that's, that's where he's at. So, so, yeah, I consider your scenario a possibility, even though I might um, nitpick some of the specifics of it.